completed piece. Watercolor is a wonderful medium. Look at the blending, letting the natural characteristics of water and pigment flow together. Almost the illusion of control with this uncontrollable medium. What a wonderful thing. Let's see how it's done. Let's take a closer look. First, I can start to sketch. Models in position, drawing in my final details. Then I place the completed sketch on a horizontal surface in front of me. I've got the front of it raised about five degrees so that there's a little bit of gravity pulling the water downward. Lay my first wash. I'm going to soften the edges slightly and put in a little bit of background color just so it's not such, such a sharp contrast between the hair and the background. It's still wet. I'm adding some shadow colors, taking some yellow ochre and some green, mixing it to make a cool color. Taking a little bit of blue, a little bit of purple, floating it in. Here we're seeing it in a value without the colors, gives you an idea of how, what the values look like. Watercolor is a process of continuous layering. I like to try to think of it in three layers. I do my first initial wash. When I do my first initial wash, I'll actually mark out places like the highlights in the eyes and keep the white of the paper, uh, the highlight in the bridge of the nose, and sometimes on the cheek, someplace uh, there's something more rich about using the natural paper. Uh, I, while the first wash is still wet, I've actually taken a paper towel. And you just saw it a, a second ago, and I'll, I'll actually pull out some pigment um, to to show where the sunlight is hitting the cheek, the top of the head. Here we are, adding a little bit more color to the background. It is an organic process where I have to see the background color will influence the way the skin tones on the face look. So kind of working um, the entire piece instead of, oh, here's the portrait, oh, and here's the background, try to work them together. It also helps to soften the edges so that the it doesn't look like we pasted the image on a background. Now there I'm taking a brush, a dry brush with a rag, and I'm pulling pigment, very controlled locations, like the bridge of the nose to get a highlight, uh, on the lips sometimes. So it's, it's another technique where you're literally p pulling pigment by using a dry brush and it pulls the, pig, the, wet, the wet pigment off of the paper. Uh, there I've gone ahead and I've actually dried, taken it to the dryer. I use a hair dryer and dr let the water flash off of it and then I'll put my second wash. So we're working on wash number two. Slowly observing, looking at colors in the shadows. Getting closer and closer to a little bit more details. You have to have patience and trust. Watercolor is an interesting medium. It, it's a real Zen part to it, understanding characteristics of, of water and how much water you have to have just to control it, to keep it on the very edge of control and chaos. I think in terms of cool colors, warm colors, more so than, oh, use this color in combination with that color to make a skin tone. I like to think in terms of, all right, uh, it's a warm color and the shadows are going to be more in cool colors. But remember that you can have warm cools and cool cools. Continuing to add 
more and more details. I generally speaking will have about three real layers. I do my initial wash and then I'll do an intermediate wash and then I'll do uh, details and then I'll do a final wash. Yeah, there's a time to let let pigment blend on its own and there's a time to control it. And sometimes I'll just take, let's say I'm working on the hair or someplace in the shadow and I think it's a little bit boring or here in this area, bridge of the nose, you can just take a little bit of blue and just dab it on and let, let the magic of, of uh, the uh, water f f blend it for you. Here we're getting a little bit more details, throwing a little bit more color in the background, helping that white shirt pop. Putting in a little bit more details. I'm not using real precise brushes. I'm not even using very fancy brushes. think that there's a, a rawness that you can get away with with watercolor and in some ways it's the trick with the medium is knowing when to quit very easy to overdo it and uh, we lose the freshness of what watercolor and how it's uh, well, in some ways superior to other mediums because of its fluid Now we're working a little bit more of the shadow areas, a little bit more details, getting the area beneath the chin to come out, looking for that three-dimensionality. blue in the background kind of help it to pop pop out also defines where the hairline and the background meet here's a completed piece this is about an hour and a half hour 20 minutes a uh, couple couple five minute breaks thanks for watching